Hey, what's going on? It's GC Performance here back with another video. Uh, and today I have for you guys a fun one. Do you guys like disc brakes? Do you guys like disc brakes on your road bike? Do you guys like disc brakes that make noise when you ride? Um, usually my main thing to do to fix this problem, as you guys can see this bike is a little bit dirty. And usually what happens is they get contaminated from riding on the road. A lot of the oils from cars can drip onto the road and then the roads are sloped and then the when it rains, it brings the oil into the bike path and then it gets on your rotors or maybe just the customer doesn't care. Usually my solution for this is to go ahead and get rid of um, uh, the pads and the rotors and just replace them. But I have something different for you guys. So if your rotors sound like this, then, we're gonna try some different. So, yeah. I'll put this over here. And, oh, we are going to get this by Finish Line. Bicycle Disc Brake Cleaner. Uh, safely cleans pads and rotors. Never used it. Yeah. I've used alcohol, I've used sandpaper, I've used a bunch of stuff like that in the past. But uh, we're going to try this stuff out and see if it actually works. So let's go ahead and try it out. And uh, I'll go ahead and get taking the bike apart. And we'll get right into it. All right, everyone. So the first step I did here was to remove the wheel. I want to check the rotor. As you can see, it looks like there's some que clear signs of uh, a residue on this rotor. Per the customer's statement, he did not put anything on there, which they never do. But you definitely see, this is a brand new rag right here. It's white. There's some kind of residue all on this rotor here it's kind of darker uh, not really that was a kind of bad test but you can definitely see that there's like some granule stains some black markings on there some kind of debris got picked up inside this rotor and it's contaminating so took out the uh the wheel now let's go ahead and take out this um what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out these brake pads over here so give me one second Grab our tool. Take out these brake pads right here. Just using a flathead to remove this tool right here, or to remove this this uh, locking pin right there. Remove it. And you can see there's some serious corrosion going on in these pads. And we'll take off this. We have the left and the right brake pad. And this is what his inside of the pads look like. So you see that shimmer? That is direct indication of some kind of contamination. So we'll go ahead and clean these things off real quick. All right, so with the pads removed, the rotor off, we got a bottle of disc brake cleaner here. So let's read what it says before we do this. Directions. For best, pres <laughs> for best preventative maintenance, use regularly, and especially after all wet and weather rides. Rotors, spray both sides, allow to dry. So I guess we're just going to go ahead and just, one second. Spray both sides of these rotors, front and back, and let dry. Then, for pads, remove wheel, spray pads. For ingrained soils, remove pads from calipers, soak in solution, buff with abrasive material as necessary. Abrasive material probably means sandpaper, so um, what I'll probably do first, just to kind of get these off, is I want to kind of hit them with sandpaper as is, take off some of that shimmer on the top of it. I mean, like, look at this, like, see if I got, like, my pinky right here. Pretty clean. Take care of this. See all that kind of dirt on there and residue? So we're going to hit this with sandpaper first, then I'll go ahead and spray them and let them soak because they are really bad. And, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. A little bit of sandpaper here. This is 220, wet and dry. This is pretty much a brand new piece. Take it like this against the table. Take this right here. Pick a spot. You see that? See how it's now definitely, here's the old pad. Here's a new pad. So much, not as shiny or glossy, but I'm gonna kind of get that lip right there too.
Cool. Put that down. Now on the other pad, I don't want to use the same one because obviously that was where the bad stuff was. So we're gonna go here. And again, I have never used this before, the finish line stuff. Like I said, majority of times I just tell customers to replace the brake pads and rotors just for the reason of, th that's the only 100% way of taking and getting rid of this. Sometimes I've done this, it works. Sometimes I've done it, it hasn't worked. I've done the alcohol situation before. I've done sandpaper before. Uh, but there's no like clear cut like way that I've seen it like 100% work. So we're just gonna be into it. So pads are done, I'm gonna crank it up. And now on here, it doesn't really say, it doesn't really say anything about, um, sometimes it takes sandpaper to the rotor. It doesn't really say anything about that. So I'm just gonna kind of spray, let dry uh, by itself. I'm not gonna put any paper towel in there, but I'm just gonna see what happens. So we're going to, uh, we'll go ahead and lower it real quick. Okay, so we've got the bottle here. We've got a little nozzle tip spray right there. Uh, we're just gonna spray here in the front and on the back as well. Remember guys as well, if you guys are doing this home, put some kind of rag down situation. This is a bike shop. I don't really care. I can get over spray wherever I want. Um, but just be mindful of it. And another thing too, is that once you start this clean process, be mindful of your hands. Like I have a bunch of grease, grease grit, grind on there. Um, so be mindful after touching these pads. Probably once I spray these down, I won't touch it. I'll probably put on new gloves and start over from there. So let's go ahead and give these a nice little It and spray. I'm gonna flip the wheel around like this. I'm actually very excited to see if this works because one, I feel like an idiot because how many times I replace pads and rotors, but two, uh, definitely save us. So, rotor's done. We're gonna go ahead and do this, the pads next. So, I'll probably just let this spray like this right here. I'm gonna let that soak really good. Some of that. And then the second one as well. I'm gonna let that soak and we're gonna let that sit. So once this stuff dries, I'll come back to you guys. So while those are drying, this would be a good time to kind of clean whatever's inside the caliper as well. Sometime whatever got in the pads can be sitting on the inside and when you put new, uh, the new pads or whatever is back, the clean pads back inside here, uh, when it rains, when it gets wet, that residue can get back on those pads. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this a nice spray everywhere. We got a rack here for overspray. Spray like that. I'm gonna clean this junk real good. Um, and like I said, sometimes I use rubbing alcohol on here or isopropylene alcohol. That stuff works really well. And we're just going to get in there nice and deep like on it, you know, put the rag inside here, see all that black stuff coming off in there, that's a bunch of good gunk, grime, all stuff like that. Just make sure you get all that stuff off there. And then I will also take these calipers right here, the pistons. I'll push them back in so that way when I put the pads and they kind of reset. There we go. Got a nice little kind of clean rotor or caliper. Still gonna let these um these pads sit and dry for a little bit longer. Still gonna let that rotor uh, dry for a little bit longer, but I'm gonna let these sit for a little bit and then we'll get back on the bike and see how I do. Alright, so it's been about 10 minutes. Um, I've let the rotor sit and uh it's pretty dry i mean there's still some residue on the outside you can see but i don't want to kind of take a paper towel or nothing like that to contaminate so i'm just going to see how it says because it doesn't say anything about drying it off i just let it air dry uh that stuff dries really quickly so i'm going to go ahead and put the wheel and the pads back in the um the bike if you do have shimano the brake pads are labeled right and left and so you want to install them if you're looking um from the rear so you behind the bike, left is left, right is right. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these back on the bike. Let's see what happens. All right, so I got the pads back in there for you guys. Got a little cotter pound there. 
Gonna take this, pull her wheel back in. Throw a three axle back in. All right. Now, for the test, we're gonna take it. I'm gonna give this brake a couple pumps real quick because I pushed those pistons in. I wanna get a platform again. And I'm gonna take you guys back out to the showroom and we're gonna do the test again. Let's hope we have work. All right, everyone. So, we did it. We, let's see where the camera's at in here. Okay, we went ahead and we did the brake rotor. We did the brake pads. We cleaned the caliper. Pushed the pistons back in. We did everything it said on here. We did not, it just said let dry. Soak your pads, let dry. I used some sandpaper on here and that's it. We're gonna find out the final verdict of what this is right now with you guys. Ready? I'm gonna give you guys a nice walk by. Hold on a second. Let me know what you guys think. didn't work like I wanted it to so maybe I'm doing something wrong if anyone has used this before and got great results on it, maybe that's maybe those pads are too far gone because as you can see that bike was definitely beat on um, but I mean obviously direction just say rotors spray both sides allow to dry and then pads remove wheel spray pads for ingrained soils remove pads from calipers soak in solution buff with abrasive material as necessary um, <clears throat> maybe one more time It'll kind of go away when i did notice the only thing i did notice after doing this and i took it for a test ride before i did this video um there was little to no braking power in the rear brake alone uh it had some but like it was really bad it wasn't squealing when you had it at speeds but as soon as you got to that one two mile an hour like you're coming to a stop it just was super loud so finish line disc brake cleaner uh i think it's a great uh thing if you're bleeding brakes and you have to spray this on like a, a brake lever or a situation if you just had brake fluid out there but to actually clean rotors and pads uh i don't i don't i don't think it works that well i've, I've never seen i've never seen anything and correct me if i'm wrong i've done i've done a bunch of these things i've done the paste i've done i think a finish line makes like a, a paste so you can put on the rotor itself as well i've never seen anything actually work it could be me i definitely let me know down in the comment section below um but i don't know what to do uh, my best recommendation is always new pads and rotors. Sometimes contamination just happens. There's no solution for it. Um, but finish line, let me know if I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I read your directions wrong. I'm open to learning and correct me if you guys have fixed this. So, but the verdict is so far on my end, it didn't work. So this guy needs to buy new pads and rotors. Let me know what you guys think. Thank you again, everyone for watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah, subscribe if you like, like if you like doesn't bother me. Thank you guys. Bye.